Happy Friday, everyone, and thank you so much for tuning into this Friday Daily Dose. I am Shelby Leduc here at Titletown, the greatest place ever in Green Bay, right? Uh, I'm here with two very special people, uh, the owner of Safe Haven Pet Sanctuary, Elizabeth Feldhausen, along with Christina here. Um, so we are going to be talking about an event that's happening tonight, really exciting to benefit some well-deserving animals. So Elizabeth, tell us a little bit about this event and what it's called, too. <laughs> the event is called the Kitty's Launch Party. Uh, 50 cents from every pint of Katie's beer sold supports the medical bills of Safe Haven um, Pet Sanctuary. We're right down the road. Um, all of our cats have some type of psychological or physical disability, um, so it'll really help us out. Now, Christina, you're the creator of this beer, right? Mm -hmm. um, tell me a little bit about why you wanted to do something for Safe Haven and maybe what this tastes like. Yeah, so I, uh, you know, self-admitted, self Cat lady. Um, I'm here with you. Yeah. And so is she. Yeah, right. <laughs> and, uh, I, you know, I visit Safe Haven, and unfortunately, I just can't adopt another animal at this time. And But I still she want really to. Wants yeah, to. I really, really, really want to, but I'm being told I can't. Okay. Um, but it, nevertheless, I wanted to do something that would help them out and feel like I can contribute without actually taking on another animal. Okay. Uh, so this is kind of my way to give back to them and help out um, an organization that I feel is really deserving. So okay. Really excited. So, for people who maybe want to know what it tastes like when they come to this event tonight, uh, give us a little sneak peek. Describe yeah. Those so, uh, this is a sour pale ale, which is kind of a newer, trending beer style. Uh, it hybridizes uh, like a traditional Berliner Weiss, which is a really light bodied, effervescent, and naturally sour and tart brew. Okay. Uh, and it combines that with the very um, albeit present but not bitter hop profile like a New England style pale ale. Okay. So like a New England style pale ale is typically filtered, we or unfiltered, excuse me, and this is filtered, so it's got that clear character of a bourbon device, right. but it has those really nice lush tropical fruity flavors that a New England style pale ale would have without any bitterness. There's like little to no bitterness to this whatsoever. It's yeah. all tart and, and fruity. Well, I think we should go ahead and do a tiny taste I test here. Cheers, Cheers to kitties. Cheers to kitties. So super light, crisp, mm. fruity. Was there any sort of like symbolic meaning behind these flavors that you chose, uh, particularly for this event and benefit the cat? Um, well, actually there was. So <laughs> the brew, a sour pale ale, um, is some of my favorites and I got to name it and you know kind of guide this project through its creation and everything but the hops that are in it are kind of these hops that are referred to as like the kitty hops because really? they're just I, you have to ask an insider on uh, tonight what they <laughs> mean as kitty hops but it's got Simcoe, Mosaic, Citra, and El Dorado. Elizabeth, what does it mean to you that people in this community are so excited to help you out and your thoughts on, on the beer? I love the beer. Um, this is my second time trying it and I'm super excited to drink it tonight. Um, but it's amazing that people in the community are just coming out of the woodworks to support us. Um, I'm really lucky to have run into Christina. She fell in love with mouse pins. Oh my um, god. I'm so excited. Black and white one, right? Yep. Yeah. Tiny. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm really glad that we got in touch with someone at Title Town because we love Title Town. So. We do. Well, so the event is happening tonight. For, give us some times um, and some things to kind of keep in mind. Sure. Um, the event is 5 to 10 tonight, um, and it'll be in the tap room, so that's across from the Title Town restaurant, across that parking lot. Um, if you do want to bring food from the cannery or from Title Town and eat it here, you can. Um, here we'll have, we also pizza. have pizza. Yeah, pizza's for so, sale here, and then our restaurant's just right across the street. Right. So. There is food, last okay. beer. Oh, food and a beer and cats. If you, want to wear, beer. <laughs> if you want to wear cat ears or like anything cat. Yeah, we're yeah. encouraging that. I'll be in cat ears. <laughs> I've got a couple cat shirts I need to choose from. Yes, <laughs> well, and Jeff is our cameraman right now. Thank you, Jeff, for your lovely work. I think I might have to break out my shirt that I wore last Friday for St. Patrick's Day. It was a leprechaun cat. Right oh my gosh, that's perfect. Oh so my God, I think perfect. that that's perfect. One of the things you had mentioned to me before we went on uh, went on live here was that you like what you're doing right now with this project because it allows you to be really creative for these small batches. So how long do you think this is going to last? How long is Kitties going to be around? So Kitties will be around, I mean, it's only a small batch done under default, so it'll yield about 30 half barrels. And it's kind of one of those things where when it's gone, it's gone, and you just 
have your memories left behind. Happy your memories and your hangover. Your hangover. Yeah. So a portion of each sale goes to Safe Haven. Um, what is that money going to be used for in your organization? Um, it'll most likely all be going towards our medical bills. I mean, we have a lot of pets that need different surgeries right now, so right. Um, we're hoping to raise money towards that. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for being here and for talking about this kitty beer. Um, and make sure to come on out tonight to Tidal Town from 5 until 10 to benefit some well-deserving kitties. Yes. Bye.